Hello dear students this is Dr Devyani Sharma from the Faculty of Science Sri Rawatpura Sarkar University Raipur Chhattisgarh in this lecture we'll be discussing about the immunological tolerance immunological tolerance is a very specific immunological non reactivity which is the unresponsiveness to an antigen due to a previous exposure to the same antigen it means that that particular antigen is not able to induce any kind of immunological response so while most of the important form of tolerance is non reactivity to self antigens but it is possible to induce tolerance to non self antigens also so whenever an antigen induces some kind of tolerance it is called as tolerogens so tolerance is basically different from non specific immunosuppression and immunodeficiency it is an active antigen dependent process in response to an antigen so like immune response the tolerance is very specific and like immunological memory it can exist in t cells b cells or both and like immunological memory the tolerance at the t cell level is longer lasting than the tolerance at the b cell level so tolerance to tissues and cell and, uh, antigens can be induced by injections of hemopoietic cells that is the stem cells in the neonatal or severely immunocompromised animals so grafting of allogenic bone marrow or thymus in early life results in the tolerance to the donor type cells and the tissues such animals are called as the chimeras so induction of tolerance in t cells is quite easier and requires relatively smaller amount of tolerogen than the tolerance in the b cells and the maintenance of immunological tolerance requires persistence of the antigen so tolerance can be broken naturally or artificially if it is broken naturally it results in the formation of autoimmune diseases of or if it is done artificially it can be done using irradiations there are certain drug treatments which causes the tolerance to break and it also happen by the exposure of cross reactive antigens so there are some therapies like low dose of cyclophosphamide or gemcitabel mine therapy can selectively deplete t regulatory cells which is called as treg so historically this uh, concept of tolerance has been studied in detail by many but burnett stated that the antigens encountered while the immune system is immature can tolerate the relevant lymphocytes and similarly medever consequently investigated the effects of transferring hemopoietic cells from histo incompatible mice at different times after birth he found that if a cell was transferred in the first few days of the life but not later the recipient mouse acquired lifelong tolerance to the antigens of the donor so the recent experiments have shown that the adults can also be tolerated under certain circumstances and that neonates can make effective immune response if the antigen is presented in sufficiently immunogenic form so medevers a uh, neonatal experiment can be understood like the given figure at first the mouse is injected with a particular kind of bone marrow from a different strain say it be the strain b here and in the coming later weeks the graft screen from strain b and strain c is done on the host mouse and after certain duration after certain weeks the strain b graft is accepted and the strain c graft is rejected it happens because the strain b graft was uh, injected in the neonatal mouse in the early days as shown in the week 0 here so the mouse has basically acquired the specific tolerance to the strain b and not to the strain c so the grafting by c failed so let us compare the immunogenic antigen versus the tolerogenic antigen so in the normal immune responses the immunogenic antigen it comes in contact with the lymphocyte and then the particular kind of lymphocyte proliferates and differentiates normally but in the case of tolerance whenever there is a tolerogenic antigen coming in contact with the lymphocyte then it can either result in the energy that is functional unresponsiveness 
and death of the particular kind of a cell which is exposed to the tolerogenic antigen. So, when these kind of cells come in contact with the immunogenic antigen, they give no response. So, basically it is tolerated here. There are certain factors that affect the response to the antigen, whether it be uh, it will lead to the immune response or it will lead to the tolerance. So, there are certain factors like the physical form of antigen, the route of antigen administration, the dose of antigen, the age of responding animal and the differentiation state of the cells. So, uh, let us see them one by one. So, whenever there is an antigen which is large, aggregated and complex, it will favor the immune response as compared to the soluble or the aggregate free or less complex antigens. So, whenever the particular kind of antigen is given subcutaneously or intramuscularly, it favors the immune response. But if it is given orally or sometimes intravenous, then it may lead to the tolerance. So, whenever there is dose of the antigen given optimally, it will favor the immune response and if the particular dose is very large or sometimes very less, it will lead to the tolerance. And the older and immunologically mature kind of animal will respond in the favor of immune response and not in the favor of tolerance. But in case of newborns, like the experiments have been done in mice, and the immunologically immature animals, it will favor the tolerance. And whenever there are cells which are fully differentiated, like memory T cells and memory B cells, they will favor the immune response. But if they are relatively undifferentiated B cells or T cells or IgM, but not the IgD or even the T cells, for example, the cells in the thymic cortex, they will favor the tolerance. So, uh, let us see another concept here which is called as ignorance of the cells by oh, T cells and B cells in immunology. So, this particular kind of phenomena that is the ignorance is shown by T cells and B cells which are specific for autoantigens present in the circulation. So, these cells are quite capable of making a response but are unaware of the presence of the autoantigen. So, it arises because of the basically two reasons here. The first is that the antigen may simply be present in too low concentration and since all lymphocytes have a threshold for receptor occupancy which is required to trigger a response, then very low concentration of the antigen will not be sensed in case of T cells or even in the B cells. The second possibility is a very interesting one. So, whenever there are some antigens which are sequestered from the immune system in locations which are not freely exposed to the surveillance and these kind of antigens are basically deeply embedded inside the tissues of eye, CNS or testis. So, basically they are immunologically privileged antigens present in deep tissues. The pathologically mediated disruption of these kind of privileged sites may expose these kind of antigens which will lead to the autoimmune response because these particular type of antigens are a part of the body but are hidden inside the deep tissues and are not normally available to the uh, immunological cells of the body. So, uh, let us see the phenomena of tolerance. It can either be central or it can be peripheral. The central tolerance occurs during lymphocyte development. So, there is a lymphoid precursor which may lead to newly emerged immature clone cells of the lymphocyte which matures normally and are non-specific for the self antigens. But in case of the self destructive cells, the self antigens present in the generative lymphoid organs comes in contact with these kind of lymphoid cells and they basically die. So, the central tolerance is the deletion of lymphocytes specific for self antigens present in the generative organs. So, whenever there are cells which are uh, active against the self antigens, they are basic, basically uh, died. In the peripheral tolerance, it occurs in the lymphocytes which leave the primary lymphoid organs. So, whenever the primary lymphoid organs leave their place of existence and move on to different sites and come in contact with a foreign antigen, they will differentiate normally. Like the immune response to foreign antigens will lead to the 
generation of the same type of cells, same type of clones. But in the case of self antigens, so whenever there are self antigens present in the peripheral tissues and the lymphocytes come in contact with these tissues, then they may be either deleted or there will be energy of the lymphocytes that recognize the self antigens in the peripheral tissues, right? Energy is the unresponsiveness of the cells. So, there are three mechanisms for tolerance of induction. So, these kind of uh, mechanisms is uh, basically dealing with the clonal deletion, clonal energy and the receptor editing. So, let us see them one by one. The clonal deletion is functionally immature cells of a clone encountering the antigen undergoing a programmed cell death as auto-reactive T cells are eliminated in the thymus following the interaction with the self antigen during the differentiation which is also called as a negative selection here. So, uh, the differentiating early B cells become tolerant when they encounter cell associated or soluble self antigens. So, clonal deletion has been shown to occur also in the periphery as well as in the central. The second phenomena here is the clonal energy which is which means that the auto reactive T cells when exposed to antigenic peptide which do not possess co-stimulatory molecules become energic to the antigen or unresponsive to the antigen. So, B cells when exposed to large amount of soluble antigen down regulate the surface IgM and become energic and B cells also up regulate the FAS molecule on the surface and interaction of these B cells with the FAS ligand bearing cells result in their death via apoptosis. So, basically the clonal energy will lead to the unresponsiveness of the T cells or the B cells also. In the receptor editing part, the mechanism here is that the B cells which encounter large amount of soluble antigen and bind to the antigen with, with very low affinity it becomes activated to express their recombination activation gene that is R A G. This kind of genes cause them to undergo DNA recombination and change their antigen specificity. And the B cell receptors of self reactive B cells are given an opportunity to rearrange their conformation via the continued expression of the R A G. So, through the help of R A G Receptor editing involves light chain gene rearrangement of the B cell receptor. So, if a receptor editing fails to produce a BCR that is less autoreactive, apoptosis will occur. And it should also be noted that defect in the recombination activation genes are implicated in severe combined immunodeficiencies, which are also called as SCID. The inability to recombine and generate new receptors will lead to the failure of maturity for both B cells and the T cells. So, basically tolerance will occur via any of the three mechanisms here. So, uh, this was all about the immunological tolerance. So, in case of any doubts, please put your questions in the comment section and thank you for now.